on you the quickie the quickie of this year ah! yeah i don't know how to act after listening to Nicki minaj what is up you guys my name is kalangia and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a returning subscriber <laughs> Being on love you so much and if you're a new watcher or is that even a word great if you're a new viewer that little red button down somewhere if you could just find it and tap on it don't be shy tap on it it was my birthday this saturday this past saturday and you know i just spend my whole day just reflecting and just you know thinking of the past and where i come from and just you know the person who i have become in my 20 years of living and i started thinking a lot about my confidence i just stepped out of my own body and just i, I just looked back you know i just took a little stroll down memory lane and yeah, i just want to say <laughs> my 16 or 12 year old self is literally gagging by the person that I've become just the self-development mentally physically just the person that I keep growing to become and who I aspire to be and just you know my confidence my self-esteem a lot of things that I worked on by myself and you know I just decided to do a little video about confidence and just being unbothered so yeah girl class is in session and i'm professor okay professor bitch yes she is a bitch b-i-c-t-h that's what i go by we're gonna call her professor bitch i hope you guys are living for this little short hair moment i just did it yesterday i'm so happy that it's still in place because my hair is 4 C, but that's not what this video is going to be about so if you're looking into starting your you know your confidence journey or just becoming your best self and becoming you know a version of yourself that you can fall in love with then i suggest you keep watching this video and definitely subscribe for a whole lot more so without wasting any more time with my little ass just keeping on speaking and stuff let's just get right on today's video In this video i have 10 tips of like strategies or techniques that i have used for myself personally i'm not saying these are right or wrong i'm just saying like judging from the place that i come from and judging from like the adult or young adult that i am now it's a little revolutionary you know what i'm saying i just wanted to come on here and share some of these tips with you guys you can take what you want or leave what you don't want and maybe you're at a you know a confident time of your life which i'm very grateful for if you are at that point but yeah just i just wanted to make that little disclaimer that these are techniques or strategies that i have used for myself so if you want to you know just keep watching this video and just hear what i gotta say you can definitely do that now there's a whole lot more that you can learn from you can make your own research which is like some self-development deep down inside soul searching and find what's going to work for you best but these are some of the things that have worked for me and number one would be daily affirmations or just whenever you get the time to think of yourself in a positive way just write it down put it on the mirror i actually remember back in high school i used to write like my affirmations on my mirror and i had a little crown written oh my gosh that is so cute i so you know what i did was i drew a crown on my mirror a little tiara and every single time i would forget who i was i would stand in a position that would make like the crown over my head like you can just grab a crown from anywhere i wrote it i drew it with some lipstick but you can like print it out and put it on your mirror stand behind stand like in a position that puts the crown over your head and say your affirmations and say everything that you need to say girl it, it can literally be anything you could literally just remind yourself that you are a gift to the universe when god brought you into this place it was not a mistake like all these positive affirmations i don't know if you guys would want me to make a video where i discuss several affirmations of mine i would definitely do that but yeah definitely number one affirmations you deserve it and if you don't believe it just keep repeating them on a daily basis or whenever you get the time to um, repeat these things and say them to yourself and i promise you after some time you will believe it um some people think it's weird to actually look at yourself in the mirror and actually repeat after yourself and tell yourself how beautiful and how valid you are and that just shows that there's a problem 
in society because usually when people praise themselves or are learning how to love themselves for example with these affirmations and stuff like that someone will be like oh you sound so conceited you sound so narcissistic i always say there's nothing wrong with just a little bit of narcissism as long as you are you know humble and you're just a cool person to be around so the next tip would be that other people or other human beings are not your competition, your friends or someone. I actually got this from Brini Lee. I watch a lot of her content. Her content is basically based on uplifting people. So I suggest you guys go watch her on YouTube. She goes by Brini Lee. And one of the things that she said in one of her videos, I don't really remember which video, was that you need to understand that other people are not your competition. And in this society or this generation of social media and constantly seeing bodies that we would want to have or lifestyles that we would want to have on social media, like it's so much easier for you to be jealous because jealousy is actually a natural human instinct like we all have it inside of us and one of the strategies that she's mentioned for this is to look at someone's picture and if you feel a little bit of jealousy or you feel envy for their lives or just who they are say that person's name and repeat they are not my competition so if i see kim kardashian girl in her little coca-cola body okay this is a little bit more stiff but <laughs> if i saw kim and i was like oh my gosh i'm so jealous and stuff like that girl first of all it's kim kardashian okay that's where the whole competition thing really needs to die you'll just say um kim's name and say kim is not my competition every single picture that you see of someone who you envy or you wish you were like in a way just remind yourself that this person is not my competition i'm unique and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that and start celebrating yourself i'm at the right time babe. So, um, I feel like a lot of people are not so confident in themselves because that's where the whole, um, idea of body image and self-love comes in. Like, some people are just, you know, their self-esteem is not really where it's supposed to be and that can be influenced by a lot of alternative factors in life like social media, the household you're raised in, the things that people say to you. For someone who suffered from gender dysphoria and I'm still, you know, I'm still, I'm filming this video right now and I'm, you know, in the process or in my journey of just becoming a lot more comfortable and like I said, I'm, I'm making this video because like I was reflecting and I was just looking back to how insecure and what a bad place I used to be back in the day compared to now. So that's the thing, body image, it can be very difficult sometimes to really appreciate your body and you know, start celebrating yourself. And one thing that I did personally was to write down each and every single body part on my body, write every single every single thing down on a piece of paper. And I started writing down the functions of every single thing I was insecure about. So if it was, um, I don't know, my tummy or whatever, I would just write it down like anything that you're insecure about or you feel that you need to work on write that body part down even the ones that you're not insecure about and just write down the function of it write down my eyes help me to see i just think eyes are one of the most interesting features for human beings like my biggest fear would literally be being blind like that's just another ugh, that is just something we take for granted so um yeah you would take your eyes and write down the function of it you'd write down your ears if you have like an insecurities if you have insecurities about them your hands your feet and just write down the functions of all these body parts and while you're doing that in the process you will actually be reminded of how much our bodies do for us they do a lot of things for us and Instead of loving them and treating them how we should, you know, feeding them with all this love that they need, we sometimes, you know, forget all these things and how amazing they are. And instead, you say the negative things about yourself, like, oh, I hate this about myself. And that's another thing that I want to talk about, which is to stop self-deprecating. I feel like this becomes a norm and it's something that you condition your mind to, that it's actually normal to say some very hateful things and just rude things that you just shouldn't in my opinion and i'm only learning that right now that when you say some things about yourself oh my gosh i'm so ugly oh my gosh i'm so unattractive oh my gosh this is why this person doesn't like me 
it's because most of the time we say these things to ourselves and our souls don't know the difference and sometimes you're saying it in a joking way like oh, what would I know girl I'm just ugly but no you're not stop saying it you keep saying it and you're putting it in the universe and sadly your soul does not know the difference and you're gonna keep saying it um, and you're gonna keep believing it so instead of the self-deprecating rather tune in into affirmations you know as much as I, I believe that as much as you can believe the negative things that you say about yourself you can also believe the affirmations which was like one of the first things that I talked about right now just keep repeating those things to yourself instead of repeating all the negative things just say more positive things and girl if you don't believe it after like I don't know what now six weeks or something try something else but I'm certain that it'll work just from personal experiences and it's not something that you're gonna pick up from like you know the second week or two weeks from then it's probably gonna take time like I said it had to take me 20 years to finally reflect and see how I've shifted from a very from a very negative place to a positive place so it's gonna work after some time at your own pace it's a journey um, you're probably not gonna Feel every single thing that I'm saying or feel the most confidence in yourself after watching this video girl I would suggest you subscribe to more content like this or content creators that focus on positivity and stuff like that about like body image and stuff just condition your mind to learning about more um, learning more about these techniques or just positivity in general okay so the next thing that I want you guys to know is that you're gonna have to get used to the idea of people constantly having something to say you're going to you're just gonna have to get used to it okay people are here and they're here to stay and some people just say the most hateful and just i don't know the things that you would not want to say to another human being like you're just gonna have to realize that these things happen and there's people out there who don't have your best interest at heart and people always want to say something but you need to remember who you are you need to remember that these people they don't know anything about you right they don't know who you are and on my get to know me video when i was actually asked a question about confidence another thing that i mentioned was i know me better than anyone so if you viewing from a window or from the outside and you want to tell me about my life usually i just don't believe people that's what i say like i always say to myself like if we can say negative things to our own selves there is someone out there who's going through the worst that's another thing social media everyone's like literally hiding behind their screen like girl it's a lot of bad talk behind the cell phone okay personally i can't really speak too much on it from personal experiences because i don't have a great following on social media so i have a like a very small community of people and we just i just don't experience that much hate but i've entered the spaces of youtube so it's just a matter of time for someone like me who's in the lgbtq community to start receiving hate and stuff that is just something that i cannot avoid i know that it's going to happen but me personally i just use this technique right so this is going to be the next technique which i created for myself but it's something that you know it really works for me so it's called <laughs> by yours truly bitch i need to have my own little phd book because who you know coming up with solutions for psychology okay but i use this um for social media and it's something that i'm really trying to learn and want to educate you guys about and i call it the mirror effect like you know how so many people would say the most hateful things like i mentioned like someone would be like oh my gosh you're so ugly you're so fat you're so this like why you look like that girl why this and all the third and it's like they're facing you when they say all those things i see a reflection of who you are and that's why i call this the mirror effect like i literally ask myself like i just be looking at people's like tweets and just like comments and stuff and i'm wondering to myself like how do you feel about yourself like i feel like people are going through some of the worst things that most human beings do i'm not going to stand in front of this camera right now and act like i don't go through some things i'm just saying i have a different approach to things like i don't I don't bash out on people because of my anger or anything I wouldn't treat other people how I would not want to be treated and like it just makes more sense reading a hateful comment and just picking up from that person that they're going through something like I don't know what it is they could possibly be going through child but it's a lot that they're going through because nobody just comes on the internet and says the most hateful things and just how do you go to bed with yourself knowing that you're that kind of person now that's why you clear up me 
I don't know. To just simplify it because I feel like I was just going all over the place discussing it, the mirror effect is just basically changing the narrative. Instead of reading something or accepting the words of human beings or the things that you read about yourself on the internet, rather change the whole narrative. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not about you. You're not looking at yourself through the mirror and listening to the things that these people are saying. You are literally facing the mirror back on them and what they're saying. I'm not the problem. You think it's okay to say hateful things to people. You think it's okay to say some things and I'm just changing their narrative, okay? You're the one with the problem, not me. You going through something. You need to deal with it. You just want to take it out on me, but I'm not taking it. Words hold so much power, so it's gonna hurt, but changing the narrative really helps and it has it has helped your big sis right here and that's why I'm making this video for you guys because I need you guys to be more comfortable with yourselves and to learn that it's okay to be confident with who you are and start loving that person and gaining confidence. When people have something to say about you, like every single time some people have something to say. Like for me personally, for someone who has been different all their lives and I've had people talk about me and they think I wouldn't really see it. Like I remember back in high school, you know, bitch, a lot of bitches would just be, you know, giving me that little, like they would talk about you and especially dudes. Like one thing about dudes, boys just be, girl, they just be talking. Like they just be gossiping more than girls do. Um, I changed the narrative and I was like, you know what? I'm interesting. I'm something to talk about. I give you substance. Your life was very gray before I came. I came and I added color into your world. Now you have something to talk about because of my existence. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was just so powerful and it sounds so conceited. <laughs> it sounds so narcissistic of me, but it has worked. And that's why I remember this one girl back in from. Ooh, back in. Oh, and when? <laughs> no, my bad, I'm sorry. Anyway, um, I remember this girl back in high school used to say that um, she was telling one of my friends, like, oh my gosh, your friend walks like she owns the place and stuff like that. Yes, the fuck I do. And what about it? God put me here for a reason, okay? This body, I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna celebrate it. And that's another thing, when people celebrate themselves and they're just enjoying their existence, just, you know, embodying a whole goddess like I do, child. Like, there's this whole narrative that, oh, she thinks she's better than people. Look at her doing this. Like, people would rather you self-deprecate and say, oh my gosh, I'm so ugly. Oh my gosh, I'm this. I'm not the most confident. This, this, this. That's BS. And I am I was one of those people who looked at people just being confident and just being their best selves. And I would think to them, to myself, oh my gosh, she thinks this is this. And then I started questioning it. Like, why am I thinking like this? And I realized it was, bitch, all society. They want us to think like that, especially the beauty industry. That's why we're being sold all these things. And, you know, girl, sounds a little, <laughs> sounds a little hypocritical coming from me because you know i'm gonna beat my mug girl what you talk about? girl is my contour sitting well cannot have these hoes but like that's one of the reasons why um the beauty industry is a billion dollar industry people literally depend on makeup for me personally it's more of an expressional it's more of like just expressing myself like i'm in a whole different mood when i put on my mug and i'm just you know minding my business doing what i have to run in my box you know what i'm you know what i'm saying <laughs> so um it's just a fun way for me to express myself but myself i mean i guess i can describe myself as myself because bitch it's hella personalities up in here but anyway so yeah that's another thing guys when people talk about you for being confident and just being yourself you're interesting being different is not a bad thing you know high school and primary just makes us think that oh my gosh I'm, I'm 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 weird i'm different but you don't realize that that is one of the best attributes you could ever have in this world just being your own person being different there's nothing wrong with it and like i said when people talk about you honey it means you're interesting like nobody just talks about things that they don't think are interesting and in this case i don't know why you would not be jealous enough to talk about your own self and talking about me the more i learned that you know what i'm not just a physical being i'm way more than that and when outside voices would want to say whatever the hell they want to say about me they don't know what i've been through and they don't know what i will continue to go through my story was written by god even before i was born in this world and for someone who's a believer girl i think i'm god's favorite child because why would i be here 
why it doesn't make sense like some kids don't make it past six months some kids don't even make it while they're inside their mother's wombs so yes i am his favorite child he loves me this is for the spiritual or the religious people um if you have a different religion i have respect for everyone else's but i'm christian so i can only speak from that perspective but yeah like i'm saying i just started having so much respect for myself because i'm like oh my gosh god really put me in this world for a reason and i'm saying this because like like i said girl it was my birthday not so long ago so i've been just reflecting and 20 years is a big deal like i've just i was literally thinking about it and i was like bruh we're literally 20 years old just 10 years old 10 years ago i was 10 that was also a big deal okay i was growing i was developing and if there's anything you guys can pick up from this video is just to stop seeing yourself as just the physical you're way more than that you have been existing in this universe for millions of years and your ancestor you are a descendant of your ancestors and start thinking of them as royalty that girl <laughs> I'm African, so I'm bound to think of myself as royalty because, of course, <laughs> why not? So this brings me to the next thing, you guys, um, your idol, Beyonce. I am Beyonce, Giselle knows Carter, I am the Nella. Okay, but you see, God may have not given me the same vocals as her, so I'm not going to even try <laughs> What would Beyonce do? Girl, you don't see Beyonce filming herself, entertaining the BS. Like, she's just one of those people who know her worth in this world, even though some people are so disrespectful and would want to say some negative things about her on her internet. This is literally Beyonce's internet, okay? I don't care what you guys have to say. And there's people who are going to disrespect her regardless. The lady who gave us homecoming, <laughs> she gave us black is king you guys i can't even emphasize on how much i think that that production just the work that went into like she's just talented but okay this video is about confidence so yeah let's just yeah let's not talk about beyonce but we're gonna talk about her because it's her internet beyonce what would she do girl beyonce is not gonna go back and forth with you so i always question beauty standards right so for a black trans woman these standards were not meant for me. I'm still gonna be ugly according to the beauty standards. So I started thinking to myself, someone created these standards. Somebody's grandfather looked at their little granddaughters and said, oh, they have pretty long hair. They have this, they have that. They have a nose that looks like this. I'm gonna make this a standard. I'm gonna advertise it and I'm gonna make people think that that is what they're supposed to be. If we all look the same, life would be so boring. We are not supposed to look the same, right? So I thought to myself, girl, if people can make something out of literally anything, and in this case, I'm talking about beauty standards, if someone thinks that their opinions are so, so important and so valid that it needs to hurt a whole community of women and just a whole community of people, my opinion matters too. What's wrong with thinking that I'm beautiful? Why can I not have my own beauty standards? And which I always say, girl, if like you want me to believe in beauty standards, they're gonna have to be fair to each and every single human being, period. The only time I'm gonna have respect for um, beauty standards is, is if there's a scale to um, calculate beauty because as far as I'm concerned, there's no such thing. I haven't been a victim of, you know, like just that kind of hate, like, oh, you're ugly, this, this, this. So I feel like it's something that I need to talk on because if it was someone who was considered to be unattractive, most people would be like, oh, girl, it's just your insecurity speaking, this, this, this. I don't think I'm unattractive. So this is just coming from a place to tell you that these standards hurt the beautiful people who are supposed to, who are supposedly under the umbrella of beauty standards. It's going to hurt you because you're never going to be perfect. There's always going to be something about you that is an imperfection and that's just the human experience in general. We're not here to look beautiful. We're not here to look like this, to look like that. You're here because you're valid and God had a plan for you, right? And so, yeah, that's why I always say F beauty standards. I don't know who came up with them. And the one thing that I hate about beauty standards is because is, the, is that like the people who came up with these standards didn't even have to suffer from them girl it's a man's world and women are the ones who are supposed to suffer from beauty standards so that just gives you more reason to say f 
beauty standards i don't want to hear anything so it's like they were designing a woman and just to say oh you're less desirable you don't get to speak you don't get to do this we were talking there was a discussion about prostitution on twitter the other day this is off topic but i just want to include it and this lady was talking about prostitution and how it has existed it has been one of the like the labors that have existed for a very long time in society and that it's not going to go anywhere and this guy ugh, he comments under the tweet and he says i looked at your profile and i figured hmm you're not someone who's worth to argue with what was that about like the whole conversation was about prostitution and stuff and it, it, it just goes to show that like people just always want to attack you based on how you look but if you think you're gorgeous just how you is girl as a descendant of your ancestors and yes i'm going to repeat that it will never get to you so the next thing would be comparing yourself to influencers and celebrities I feel like Kim Kardashian is one of the perfect examples to use. Girl, remember when she had a little fight, a little fight with one of her sisters, Courtney, and the walls, the white walls were covered with body foundation. That should just let you guys know how much there's like filtering and editing and photoshopping and stuff like that on social media, girl, to the point that they even do it in real life. Like that is just the perfect example. But at the same time, she's a woman. She's allowed to feel feminine. She's allowed to put a little body glow foundation if she wants to. There's definitely nothing wrong with that. I feel like so many people think that Kim or other influencers are like social media mothers and stuff and they should set an example. You need to learn how to have your own voice. You need to stop doing what other people are doing. But more so, stop comparing yourself to influencers and stuff. There's this one girl who I follow. Definitely love her um, content. Um, and she just showed us how she edits her pictures. And I realized that even with makeup artists, like when you see like someone's picture and it looks so flawless and everything, girl, it's not just the makeup. It's the lighting. It's just a lot of things that go into the whole look and how these people look. So... Even me right now, I have a full face of makeup, so that should give you a reason to not compare yourself to me. You can either be inspired by it, but don't feel any kind of way like, oh my gosh, I wish I looked like that. No, wish like you looked like yourself. You're gorgeous. You're amazing. You're just how you're meant to be. You have the power to say nobody in this world looks like me, and that's just, it's beautiful. Okay, so lastly, I would like to leave you guys with this start talking to yourself like you're someone you love this goes hand in hand with the affirmations because when you affirm yourself or you um associate yourself with people who are affirming friends who are going to tell you just how amazing you are and just contribute towards you know you being grateful for yourself that's just one important thing start talking to yourself like you're somebody that you love like if you can go on social media and be like oh my god look at her she looks so pretty and you live a good you leave a good comment for someone and something that's going to uplift them something that is affirming you can surely do that for yourself don't you think you owe that to yourself a little bit more stop comparing yourself to people you are custom and that's beautiful nobody in this world is like you okay so yeah that's really what i wanted to talk to you guys about in today's video i hope that if anything <sighs> bitch i'm so <sighs> like i'm just i'm just touched by my growth and the person that i've become I never thought that it would ever get to this point where I'm the one who's standing behind a camera and trying to uplift someone and trying to help them grow. Like, it just feels so great to finally say that I'm, you know, in a point that just feels, that feels great, right? And this is, an, this is a journey. You're not going to feel the most confident after this video, but I hope you will. But it's a journey. Like I said, subscribe to more content like this. Um, read more um, inspiring quotes and affirming quotes. One of my favorite pages would be feminist. It's like a feminist page on Instagram or just pictures with people who are more into the mindset and people who would want to motivate you to become your better self. So yeah, you guys, um, it's a journey and we all have ups and downs. That's just the yin and the yang of life, the negative, the positive. They all make us who we are that's literally energy explained that's how the world is what it is negative positive that's how it works so yeah if there's any more things that you guys would like me to talk about in my next videos 
definitely do comment down below girl tell me what you want me to talk about next i would really appreciate it because this was like a random um video i wasn't i wasn't really thinking about it but i was just like okay let me make a video on confidence and everything so if there's anything else you would like me to talk about on my channel or you know just tell me what kind of content you would like to see down below please don't forget to subscribe and put the bell on because youtube be trying to grow they be not telling people that we have content out and how are you gonna know so just put the bell on it really helps follow me on my social medias if you want to and yeah i think that's it for today's video 